welcome to D-Light Channel once again this week. Thanks for making it a date every week with us on this channel. We appreciate your company. We appreciate your views. We appreciate your comments. Please keep them coming and we are sure to do our best to keep the channel alive. T-Mark is my name. Welcome to this week's edition. What are we talking about? It is still a continuation of all that we've been saying recently about entrepreneurship made simple. We've had a couple of videos now, so I encourage you if you are just joining today to go back to like, how many videos now? Maybe 12, I'm not sure. But go back and check and try and watch every one of them so that you can get the foundation that we have laid up to this point. But this week, we are continuing from where we stopped last week. Last week, we focused on all the things that you need to do to get yourself into the market. And this week we are now saying, now that you are in, if you are coming from employment, you have beaten the bullet, you've taken the giant step, you've decided to go full time into entrepreneurship. And if this is all that you've had to do all your life, you are no longer at the conceptualization or planning stage. You are now full blown in the market Hopefully you've landed your first few customers. Hopefully you've made your first few sales. And all of a sudden you've got some validation from the market. You've been able to establish a presence in the market. Our question then is, what is next? There are shocking statistics in the country, particularly in developing countries as well, for business startups. Different statistics are available, but one that I like to refer to is the one that says that about 80% of new businesses die within the first five years. All right? That's very shocking. So it means that if you really want to make a long-term success of this, your venture, you need more than just raw passion, energy, greed, and all the things that we've said. You need to learn what it takes to turn your passion into an enduring enterprise. That is another word I would like to take out of the word entrepreneurship. It is because you are able to create an enterprise. And before I go further, can I point it out to you that there is actually a difference between being an entrepreneur and being self-employed. Which one are you? Or better still, which one are you aspiring to become? As it is obvious, when people say they are self-employed, the meaning is that all they are trying to do is to wake up every day, get busy with whatever they can do to earn a living and pay their bills. There is really no desire of building an enterprise, of getting to a point where the business or their venture works on its own and works for them. But our conversation is not about self-employment. Our conversation is about entrepreneurship, meaning that we want to see how we can work with you to, uh, to help you take your venture from just an idea, from a concept, from what you are just doing on your own to something that is lasting and enduring. How exactly do you get that done? That will be the focus of the next couple of videos so that we demystify it and hopefully we can share with you very practicable skills and tips that you can apply wherever you are in your journey. Before I get into the full details, let me share this uh, image with you. And it tells you that an organization like a human being has a life cycle. A life cycle that tells you how it moves from the beginning to the end. And what does, this, what does this diagram say? This diagram says that there is a startup phase. That is the phase that we are still focusing on, where you have the idea, you are conceptualizing it, you are working on it, you are building it, you are growing it, and maybe you got it started. And then down the line, you get to the point where you have the growth phase. In the growth phase, you are getting to increase at an increasing rate. Things are happening really fast. 
you are spreading very wide, the customer acquisition is very quick, volume of sales are high, things are going very quickly. We'll come to that phase and we'll dwell on what goes on there and what you need to do. And then after the growth phase, you get into the mature phase. At that point, you now have a brand, you now have an identity, you are growing, but not, no longer at an increasing rate, you are now beginning to grow at a reducing rate. That is the level of maturity. If you are not careful, quickly following maturity is stagnation. You then stagnate, meaning you are not growing, but you are also not declining. You are generally just standing at one point, volumes are similar, client base are similar, spread, plus minus, you close some, you open some, and you get that ready. This is a very pivot, pivotal point, and when we get to that phase, I want you to watch out for it because in this phase, you have two options. If you don't create a rebirth, where you create a new life, a new incidental product, a new complementary product, or a completely brand solution that can ride an existing brand, if you don't create a rebirth, you are likely going to go into a decline. And that is where you now begin to see everything slow down. Figures begins to decline, spread begins to decline, profitability begins to decline. If you don't act fast before you know it, you are defunct or dead. That is a big picture of what the organizational life cycle looks like. So, you can see that we have a lot to talk about in the coming months. Next week, we will be focusing on the startup phase. What are the things that goes on in there? What should you be aware of? How should you set up? How should you respond? What should you be doing? I'm sure you do not want to miss it. So, make it a date next week. Tell everybody that you need to tell. Share with everybody that you know. And like I always say, Join me on the Telegram channel. Let's even operationalize this conversation. We are happy to work with you with the specifics of your situation wherever you are. T Mark is still my name. And don't ever forget that all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. See you next week. Bye.